you saved my life. <laughs> Who was that? I didn't stop to ask. My father says robbers live in the graveyard. That's why I'm not allowed. You won't tell him, will you? Tell him what? That I was out there, alone. Not with nice one. My name's Jonathan Ben Mordecai. You're Flavia. Yes, but how? We just moved in next door. I hear your mother all day long. Flavia, slow down. Flavia, don't do that. Flavia, are you reading again? That's not my mother. That's Alma, my old nurse. She keeps house now. My mother's buried out there. My mother died when I was two. I was three. Did you catch anything? Big rabbit. Well, she's quite big. And she rabbits on. I'm sorry about my brother. He's an idiot. He saved my life. And I do talk a lot. <laughs> I'm Flavia Gemina. I'm Miriam. Welcome to our house. So, what was a well-born girl like you doing running around the graveyard with my son? Well, I was taking an offering to my mother's grave when this... when I fell over and Jonathan helped me. You should be careful out in the graveyard. There are... Robbers and bad men, I know. Hmm. I was going to say wild dogs. The men are poor creatures. They steal from the graves. Should the dead grudge food to the living? You have some funny ideas, Dr Mordecai. <laughs> Perhaps I do. There. Can you walk? Yes, thank you. I've sent Miriam to fetch your father. Don't you have a door slave? That's another one of his funny ideas. No slaves. Really? I'm sure you could afford one. <laughs> we don't believe one human being should own another. Father! You little Al. What have you been up to? Nothing. This is Dr Mordecai and Jonathan. They don't believe in slaves or grave robbers. Mordecai Ben Ezra. Marcus Flavius Geminus. I hope my daughter hasn't been too much of a nuisance. She is very original. <laughs> the gods willing, tomorrow we'll have you safe in Pompeii for the summer. Get down there. This man. Let's get this one up. Slaves. Think of all the trouble and expense I'll go to. Get over there. That's 300 ahead. Yeah. Wash them down. Let's get ready for Ostia. Those. <laughs> Couldn't you just stay in Pompeii for a few days? Don't you want to see Uncle Guy? I have to use every moment of the sailing season for trading. And what will we live off in winter? <laughs> Careful with that! Take me with you then. I've been through this before. Oh, please! A long sea voyage is no place for a girl. On the four! Yeah. This should keep you out of mischief. 300? For the last scrolls of Pliny's natural history? That's what you wanted, isn't it? You're the best father in the whole empire. By the time you come back... If the guards are willing. I'll know everything. They say Pliny studies all the time, even in the past. <laughs> should anything happen? You know Uncle Gaius is your legal guardian. Just come back. And don't worry about me. Nothing ever happens on the farm. What? You did what? You wretched dumb people! I thought it should be so you. No! Eh? I'll beat your brains out if you had anything in there. Next time, I'm going to send it to the pirates. Ah! Oh, Captain Geminus! This is a pleasure. <laughs> Who is that monster? 
Vanilla case, they call it. The, the worst of a bad lot. Never buy a slave of them. Why not? Tries to break their spirit. Take the fight out of them. And the hope. I don't want the skulls anymore. It was incredible to sell it down here. Come on, we're down. Come on, hurry it up. The forum by now. The cream of North Africa for your delectation. Oh, yes. A lady slave. Look at this specimen. It'll work all day for you. Please all hurry. Right, I suppose we're too late. Ten minutes ago, you wouldn't have a lady slave because you were never going to be a lady. Girls grow up fast North these days. Africa, I'm telling you. Leave this to me. Only the best quality. Fit for the finest ladies in the Empire. Oh, yes. Fully trained. No time wasters. That one. Oh, very special, that one. Nubia, a princess among her own people. 300 sisters. To you, Captain. 600. You can't do that. That's not fair. 400. Don't insult me. Home leave from Britannia, eh? 400 now. 200 when I sell my cargo. Oh, when will that be, Captain? The odds have never. Cash buyers only. I'm sorry, baby. Vicious little. No, wait! Take this. It's worth more than 600. None of that. It's your mother's. That. Nice doing business with you, Captain. <laughs> Come on, then. Venelicius. You hold on to it. Like Castor and Pollux, I swear I'll buy it back. One of these days, I'll catch you on your own, you Flavia, Gemini. And when I do, then we'll see what your father's made of. The cream of North Africa for your delectation. Wait here a moment. I'll go and find her. Alma, where are you? Where do you think you're going? I know what's in your head. Forget it. You don't like being a slave. Who does? To run away is much worse. Believe you me. No food. No money. No one to look out for you. You won't last a day out there. Alma! Alma! Oh, there you are at last. Lucky for you. She was all for running off, your fine new body slave. She's frightened, that's all. Let's get you cleaned up. You're safe now. I'm going to look after you. No good acting soft. She's a slave. The sooner she gets used to it, the better for everyone. What's your name? She's called Nubia. This is Alma. I'll take you to the bars later. Are you hungry? She can't understand a word. Oh, yes, she can. You do speak Latin, don't you? There, you see? Don't worry. I'm going to read you lots of poetry. Poetry? Oh, good poetry to her. So she speaks only the most beautiful Latin? Come on, Nubia. We'll find you a tunic. It isn't easy raising children by oneself, especially daughters. Stay here, ready to attend them. No, no, Nubia, sit by me. <laughs> sea snails with garlic and oil. Father, is it allowed? But yes, Miriam. God has made all things clean. Won't it be very crunchy? <laughs> you don't eat the shell. Look. Miriam is a good girl, but I know I ask too much of her with the house and my patience. I like to help. 
Not bad at all. Can I have another? Well, I'm always not. <laughs> I worry about Flavia. I can either lock her in her room mm. or she's outside getting into scrapes, at least. She's a school <laughs> A reader. Well, that's good. Jonathan's asthma keeps him indoors more than he likes. Did you buy this child as a companion for your daughter? I thought at time Flavia had a body slave. I was hoping that the responsibility might steady her a little bit. <laughs> to own another person. It's a heavy weight to carry. Our next course is going to be my favourite. Dormice with chopped sows udders. Flavia! <laughs> Sorry, your face is. Do you like roast chicken? <laughs> well, after this, I don't know what you're going to think of my proposal. What's your uncle's farm like? I've never been to a farm before. We've always lived in cities. After Jerusalem, Babylon, Rome, and now Austria. You'll love Uncle Guy says. There's lots to do there. The Bay of Neapolis, the Mount Vesuvius. What a funny cloud. Where's your uncle's farm? You see those red roofs underneath the mountain? That's Pompeii. The farm's further down the coast, near Stavia. Pliny says this is the most fertile region in the world. Isn't it beautiful? Happy man. Father! Water. Can you still see him, Nubia? No. Yes. Texas. Lower the skiff. Right, sir. Hey! hey. Yes, sir. Come here! We'll pick him up later. Behold, boy and man. Too late. He tried his best. <laughs> <laughs> Don't try to speak. I... Let the air return. Are you all right? What's your name? Have you got asthma? My, my bag. Ah, never you'll be praised. Save. What is it? Well, my notes. Is that all? I must write this down. In some sources, it is said that when a man drowns, his whole life passes before him. All I was aware of was a growing darkness. I know who you are. You're Pliny. What? How do you recognize me? You have a suntanned face, like my father, but soft white hands. As commander of your fleet, you spend a lot of time on deck, but you don't have to do any work. Well, I wouldn't quite say that. <laughs> then there's where we found you, the Bay of Naples, where the fleet is based. And finally, there's your bag. Pliny's famous for writing notes all the time. So when I saw that your most prized possessions were your notes... <laughs> Excellent reasoning. Seems that you know a great deal more about me than I do about you. Oh, sorry. I'm Flavia Gemina, and this is my father's ship. That's him steering. This is Jonathan and his father, Dr Mordecai. Nabia and Miriam. And uh, what, what about this young fellow here? Well, don't be shy. If it wasn't for you, I'd be feeding the fish. What's your name? May I? Please, open your mouth. So you can hear me. If you don't speak. We found him on board. I think he's a stowaway. Only I'm sure I recognise you. Maybe he's an escaped slave. I'd buy his freedom for him. What do you say, boy? What's your purchase price? There is no slave brand. He's been living rough, but he's healthy. It might be that God has struck him dumb, or maybe he never learned to speak. Nubia. No 
Name is Dog. He can't be called Dog. Fish. Fang. Growler. Fox. Howler. Savage. Wolf. Brilliant, Nubia. Your name's Lupus. <laughs> That's our word for wolf. should have told you. Caius? Germans. Twins. My family's full of twins. My little brothers who died. My grandfather and his father. What's that? A vase? Two faces. Twin faces. That's clever. Do you have a family, Lepus? I don't know. <laughs> May I ask you why you were in the water? Well, I was getting reports about dead fish being washed up on the beach in Herculaneum, hot water in the sea, and all sorts of superstitious nonsense about the anger of the gods and the end of the world. So, I went along and I tried to scoop up some water to look at it, and my idiot of a slave panicked and capsized the boat. Scrawny fellow he was, he just sank like a stone. I, on the other hand, am more of a floater. Poor Scrawny. <laughs> the plenty is not Sora. It's only slave. Judgment day! Judgment day! Repent before it's too late. God's judgment is upon us. The end of the world. You know it, don't you, boy? Tell them fire and brimstone will destroy us all. Tell them what you see. The end of the world. Tell them, tell them about your dreams. <laughs> Quite mad. Tell them, boy. Yes. Tell them about your dreams. Why did he pick on you? Search me. What did he mean by dreams? Superstition and credulity are all around us. Better safe than sorry, I say. We farmers look to the gods all the time for protection. In a few days, we'll celebrate the Vulcanalia to safeguard our harvest. Why don't you come and watch, Admiral? Well, no, really. I have other duties. Perhaps you might like to take notes for me. My more pressing concern is fighting the pirates. We've been getting reports they've started kidnapping free-born children. Final scroll of Pliny's natural history. What did he give you? A herb bag for my asthma. I recognise most of them. There's one. I'll ask my father. That's just like Pliny. Superstitious nonsense. <laughs> what were you by, Nubia? No. No, it's for you. You buy something you like. Read my lips. Oh, you thought I don't Nubia? Nubia, what is it? Flavia, isn't that the man who chased you? Yes, with Fenelicius. Here? Father, what was Pliny saying about pirates? Fenelicius is cruel, but he's not a pirate. But don't you think it's a bit suspicious, him turning up here? Flavia, whatever you do, you keep away from him. Understand? I will, Father. You're my only treasure in this world, and I need to know that you're safe. Don't worry, brother. I'll take care of her. She'll be safe at the farm. Now, you're to do what Uncle Guy says, and do not set a foot off that farm without him. I promise. Bye, Father. 
keep safe. Come back quickly. Come on, Lupus. You are coming with us, aren't you? Wasn't he the one who chased you? He works for Fenelikius. Fenelikius is trying to catch you. If Fenelikius was prepared to capture freeborn children, I wouldn't be a bit surprised if he was in with the pirates. We have to do something. But your father said to keep away. I'm not planning to go near him. From Uncle Gaius's farm, we can watch the pirate coast. If Fenelikius sells out, we can tell Pliny, who catches him red handed. I was supposed to tell Admiral Pliny. He was right across the bay in Mycenae. I'm working on it. But until then, do we all agree we should keep watch? Xanthos! Rostella! Is the bathhouse ready? It's only small. You can wash off the journey's dust. Oh, Master, you're back already? It's a disaster. The field wells run dry. The field well? Are you sure? Oh, I'm sorry, this has never happened before. Oh, please, don't worry. What a year! Someone's offended the gods, make no mistake. Hello, Priscilla. <laughs> Flavia Gemina. Oh, <laughs> you've grown. Getting more and more like your mother, aren't you? We're observing ancient customs, Priscilla. I bet you know lots. Not so much of the ancient, thank you very much. Now, go along, run along. Go on, your meal will be ready soon. Come on, I've got something to show you. It's the watchtower, to raise the alarm in case there's a fire. You can see for miles from up there. That's the pirate coast. If Fenley could sail south, we'll see him. Where is the Pliny? Over there. Mycenaeum's at the end of the headland, and Pompeii's just there. I'll show you around. Um, safe quarters, wagon shed, a tool store. Don't let Zanthus the steward catch him there. Wine cellar. Livia, come on. I got a hint of wood smoke. Mm, some grass under. And uh, leather? <gasps> yes, yes, a hint of, I think shoe leather. Mm, good shoes, mind you, not old boots. Mm. So you'll take it for the Vulcanalia? Yes, yeah, it's a problem. It's too good. <laughs> Taskis, this is my niece Flavia and her companions, Lupus, Nubia, and Jonathan. Are you the baby that fell into the Vulcanalia jar? <laughs> I've never forgotten it. She went head first, plop, with her chubby little legs waving round in the air. There were fish all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? It's fizzy. Tastes like rusted nails. I got leather. I... Uh, maybe rust. It was fine a moment ago. It's not your wine glass. It's the water. Don't tell me the kitchen well is drying up too. Lupus, stick out your tongue. <laughs> it's gone orange. <laughs> so is yours. Is it? <laughs> Can you see? But what is it? It's minerals in the water. Perhaps because the level's so low. Why are all the wells drying up? It's all going wrong. <laughs> you can laugh, but I'm telling you, the god Vulcan's not happy. Isn't that why we're doing the Vulcanalia? To appease the gods? Exactly. Vulcan wants his fish. His stomach is rumbling, and so is mine. Who is Vulcan? He's the son of Jupiter and Juno, the queen of the gods. He was such an ugly baby that she threw him out of heaven and into the sea. He drowned like Pliny? Nearly, but a sea nymph took pity on him and cared for him. 
Ah, who's an ugly baby? He grew up to become the world's first and only underwater blacksmith. He made gold necklaces and rings set with pearls for the sea nymph and her friends. Soon enough, Juno demanded to see the jeweller. Where did you get these pearls? They're divine. So, he brought her a magnificent throne. Gold! My favourite! Trapped! Vulcan refused to set her free unless she offered him Venus, the goddess of love, for his wife. Now, every time Venus is unfaithful, he goes to his forge, blows on his bellows and bangs with his hammers, and we get earthquakes and volcanoes. It's all right. It's all right, it's only a tremor. That is the worst it gets. Strange things have happened. Superstitious monsters. I don't think so. All the evidence points to one thing: a volcanic eruption. Flavia's stories have upset us all. Everyone's in danger. There's no volcano on Mount Vesuvius. <laughs> <laughs>